Roomy Melbourne real estate snapped up by home buyers who think big. Downsizing might be the flavor of the month, but for hundreds of home buyers, it was our roomiest real estate that hit the mark this year. A 10 bedroom former convent and an 8 bedroom Victorian mansion in need of some TLC were among properties that had buyers thinking big in 2016. CoreLogic sales results show at least four 10 bedroom houses and four nine-bedroom houses were snapped up during 2016. There were also at least 12 homes sold with eight bedrooms, 43 with seven bedrooms and more than 270 with six bedrooms. Buyers with big broods, multi-generational families and landlords catering to students were among those driving demand for large houses. Bell real estate agent Tony Fanfulla said a couple of large families were interested in the former convent at Five Park Road, Warburton, but it was a local with plans to turn it into backpacker accommodation who won the keys with a $525,000 offer in June. Mr. Fanfulla said the convent, built for the Sisters of St. Joseph of the Sacred Heart about 1957, was a bit of a spooky building, but that had not put off prospective buyers, with six or seven making offers during the Expressions of Interest campaign. A lot of them were thinking of accommodation, but there were one or two large families looking for a house with plenty of room and lots of bedrooms, Mr. Fanfulla said. Ray Group Chief Economist Narita Connis B said, while there was a niche market for homes with six or more bedrooms, there was a growing trend for different generations of a family to live under the same roof. There's been growth in several generations of a family living in the one house, she said. Sometimes it's parents with adult children who can't afford their own home or more commonly it's elderly parents living with their adult children. Hawking steward agent Tony Do said the trend was particularly strong among Chinese families. They like to have their parents live with them and their children, so you get three generations together, he said. It means they can keep an eye on their parents as they get older, and the parents can also help out with raising children. Mr. Doe said this was the case with the $2.95 million sale in September of the eight-bedroom house at 115 Ashburn Grove, Ashburton, the top sale in the suburb this year, to a local Chinese family that planned to move in three generations. An eight-bedroom grand old Victorian mansion in St. Kilda sold last month for just under $4 million. Simon Gowling from Greg Hawking Holdsworth said the mansion at 7 Crimea Street was built in the late 1800s as a family estate, but was converted into four two-bedroom apartments in the 1920s. He said the buyer, from a nearby suburb, planned to restore the home, known as St. Hubert's, to its former glory as a single residence. It will be one of the best homes in the area, Mr. Dowling said. They will probably have to spend $1.5-$2 million on it, but it will be worth the investment. The thing about this property is that it's a good block of 695 SQM, with rear access, and the freestanding home is flanked by other Victorians on either side. Most of the other 10-bedroom homes sold this year were rooming or boarding houses, some conveniently located close to universities. Thank <laughs> you.